I think what's evident even from the conference is that analytics has become important across a very wide sector, uh, varied sectors. So from banking to automobiles to grocery to retail to FMCG, I think everybody is talking about the importance of analytics in either trying to improve revenues in the organization, improve customer service in their organization, or simply improve productivity. A lot of us are also trying to use this to uh, you know, reduce costs in our uh, various organizations and brands. And I think that's in general very good for the Indian economy because it's one generating a large pool of talent across uh, you know, various sectors who will grow this field in the company and it's a very well sought after sector. The second is that the deployment of this is what will actually impact revenues, will impact scale uh, and give us a good global competitive advantage and I think that's very, very useful as well. Uh, what is very heartening to see is on stage you're seeing uh, varied topics and use cases which are coming together between practitioners as well as uh, vendor partners and the synergy seems so evident and it's been very useful to hear uh, different people talk about how they've put it to use so it's not just lying in our machines and it's not just lying, lying in our dashboards but I think everybody's putting it to use and that's really really good to see. I think uh, for Raymond, uh, one of the critical areas of where we can use analytics is really how we improve our experience for customers. It's an iconic and a legacy brand which has been around for more than 90 years and everybody knows uh, Raymond for the great suits that we make. But the wardrobe of the customer has really changed and people are dressing up for various occasions, moments, needs in their life. Aspirations have changed. There's one part where, of course, we have to understand that about our customers, then use the right analytics to actually see where we can interject these needs better. And I think that's why we're using uh, data which is across about 5.3 million customers with who, with who we have direct relationships. Uh, we store that data centrally, it cuts across the entire group. All our brands, including Raymond, Park Avenue, Parks, as well as Color Plus, are sitting on a common platform like this and we try to use that to understand the wardrobe needs, we try to understand the gaps and then use that data to actually help customers to bridge that to find the products that they're really looking for. We've also used it to build services, to build policies like exchange in terms of you know what will actually make a difference to customers. So it's been a, a great effort at our end to do that. It's also very complex in an organization which is really built on the back of manufacturing. So this creates a lot of customer centricity in the organization because we are looking at customer first principles for everything that we are trying to do in the business. I think it is complicated to just look at data and make decisions if you can't understand your customers first and what their needs would be like I said earlier as well. And I think here is where it goes to really going to the heart of uh, things through a little design thinking which is what we have been deploying very well as well. So understanding that what is it that customers are looking for in general, what are the missions in their lives, uh, looking at what are the pain points and what are things that create delight. I think that's really the starting point to saying that what is the hypothesis therefore we can build and then look at how we can apply analytics to actually uh, test those right, and come back with answers. It is very easy to get lost in big data. Data is very, very complex, of course, and you want the depth but and you want the speed. In doing that, very often we might be swimming in data forever. So it's important to bite-size your data, go really small, uh, don't think of customers as homogeneous large bodies, but start thinking of all your data in first to begin with as segments, but go even narrower. I think segments are also fast becoming a little obsolete in that sense and one needs to layer segments with many unidimensional attributes sometimes to arrive at narrow focus areas which are important to you know uh, customers today and I think that's been useful you know in our case and we have done that looking at for example size as an attribute and then look at saying that how can we solve the challenge for odd sizes you know whether it's through measurement services or whether it is through reserving stock. I think those are the kind of things that one needs to do by looking at narrow attributes and identifying you know, what the customer really needs.